Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Thursday market webcast. All right, uh, no webcast yesterday. Sorry about that. There's meetings and running around and, and, and the whole thing. Uh, we are back, and you know, it's funny because I tell you guys, it's you know, and I said this, you know, I I, I got on the microphone obviously before the opening in the in the chat room, and I said, look, you have to. You have to compartmentalize what you think and what you are seeing on the chart, the price action on the chart. And yesterday really was a microcosm of that. You had the first you know, few minutes of the day where um, bears went down and, and had an opportunity to convert weekly pivot down at 39.75. Held a little bit and then they just started giving it up. One domino after another domino after another domino after another domino. And before you know it, they've blown it all. Uh, weekly pivot, monthly pivot, everything in between, nine day, 20 day. And you can see where we are now. We're back up into the higher edge of this zone. Do I think we're going to reach up to the upper band? No, not really. Not unless there's some piece of news out there that's going to float everybody's boat. Um, you know, 40, 50 just printed. Um, but you have two choices. And we've gone through this before in situations like this. You can get dug in and stubborn and all butthurt because the market's going up and you wanted it to go down. Like the market gives a shit what you think. Um, and you can fight it all the way up and you can, sell, you, you can sell contracts to people like me and we're going to just ride it on up. And then we will go ahead and sell them to you on the way down. So, you have got to separate what you think, what you want, how you feel, and this inner desire to be right. Sacrifice all of that at the altar of making handles. And if you do that, your trading life gets much, much easier. Much easier. You don't go into the day with an agenda. The market has to X or this is what I'm seeing. Okay. Look, I was short, but then it stopped going down. And then we got long and we're still long. We're long, we got a runner from, oh, let me look over here, 80. I got to stop at 30. And it's not because we did anything, you know, like we, like we, you know, we opened up the black box and the system said this and all this crap that people come up with. Let's go to the hourly chart. Here's what happens. They take it down. They have a chance to convert the weekly. They don't do it. Then they confirm it down there. And now you're making higher lows. So you have two choices. You can fight it. You can see how that's going to go, which is how it usually goes. It's no different than trying to fight something long. It's just that the, the, usually on these bounces, these rallies, you know, people fight it all the way. And ever since we've tested daily mid band back there Thursday, Friday, they have been fighting it fighting it, get it back, catch them leaning over their skis, fight it. And now we're heading back up. I'll be interested to see if we can take that for, out that 40, 50, 6, 75. So it's not like I sat there and threw darts at the low. You know, what was the low? I don't even know. 60, yeah, 63s or whatever. So we, we were short 89s. I didn't get out until... Um, uh, I, I got, I got, I took a 10 handle runner down 79 half. And then it's like, look, it's not going down anymore. We need to buy it. We're not trying to catch lows. I'm not trying to catch highs, but when it starts blowing stuff, you have to set aside your agenda, your thoughts, your feelings, the fact that you're in a short that I really, at the time, I really just wanted to get short like 89 half and be short all day. I had a lot of shit to do yesterday. I didn't want to be taking a bunch of fucking trades, but it starts going up. So you know what I have to do? I have to adjust to what price is telling me. Not sit there and say, damn it, I came in short and it's a short. Really? It is? How the hell do you know? How do I know? How does anybody know? And then 80, 90, the roundy, which they blew through like it wasn't even there. Then they do the nine day. The nine day. That wasn't a good look early in the afternoon and then it was just like buy little profit taking and they keep grinding it to the upside but if you get stubborn here 
you're going to pay for it all the way up here. So this is a little five minute rant, but I don't feel like a, I feel like I need to, you know, grab the shoulders of a lot of people out there and shake you and say, look, yeah, inflation is still six point whatever percent. And yesterday price didn't care. So why do you care? What are you on the, you know, what, what do you, what, what do you wear your, you know, you wear your Mike Singletary jersey, you know, every time you sit down and trade? I don't wear my Singletary jersey. I don't wear my I don't wear my freaking Jordan jersey either. Just put a shirt on and trade what you see. Cuz nobody's getting anything extra on a line on their statement at the end of the month for being a committed bear or a committed bull. Trust me. If you are, let me know and we'll all go we'll we'll all go uh, uh, open an account there. So this is me getting on, not everybody, but the vast majority of people out there that I know are fighting this tape because this tape doesn't do stuff like yesterday if people aren't fighting it. So there's my PSA. All right, let's talk about today. Uh, again, 4056, got to deal with it. I'll be interested to see how much more juice they've got in this. Um, if you're long, you know, like we're long in the room, you know, I'll subscribe, just walk it up and I'll, I'll talk you through it as we go. Right now we're at 30. We'll see where we are before the open. Um, I don't want to be holding a bunch of this, so we'll just we'll just we'll probably dismount at some point. Um, you know, and if we you know if it keeps going up and we only get X and it ends up going up Y and we have to get into a different kind of trade, that's that's a first world problem. Um, so volume weighted average price, proprietary moving average, five minute mid band are all between 40 and 42. Hourly mid down is down about 33. If the bears are going to have any kind of comeback today, and there's your higher high, live and in living color, um, they've got to deal with this first. They got to take out. I, I want to say the overnight low is like 28 right now. Got to take it out. Um, and you got to close. Try to close below the daily mid band. And if you're the bulls, what you can't do is what you've been doing when you get into these situations which is just getting knocked in the teeth and like giving up way too much ground. It's no different than here, right? Knock it down, flatten it out, try it again, lower high, knock it down. Now, every time they knock it down, it turns into some kind of a higher low and a higher high, which we just did. But um, the bear or the bulls rather have to do a dramatically better job of holding these highs up there. Because all you're seeing right now in both directions is a lot of indecision an unwillingness to push the tape and a lot of profit taking you know, on either side. It's like nobody has any confidence in their side's ability to push the matter. So you got weak shorts and weak longs. We all see what happens to the weak shorts. Well, you know, this is what happens to weak longs. You know, they bail too. So there's a lot of weakness. You don't put in this kind of an hourly candle if the longs aren't weak too. So look, I'm not in love with the bulls. I, I'm in love with them if we go up today, but you know, Depending on what happens, if the same price patterns hold, we will probably do better short today than we will long. What am I gonna do about that right now at 7.55 in the morning? Not a single solitary thing. You know why? Because price is not telling me to do it. Get out of your head, get your eyes on price, take your jersey off and put a shirt on and just trade. So, um, it's, it's interesting because I'm doing a webinar, I'm doing a subscriber webinar today on fear and compartmentalizing trades and, you know, trying not to make the next, the, the last trade about the next trade and things like that. So, I mean, this is stuff that we deal with all the time. Um, and, you know, what all, all I would say is being, being in the room versus being out of the room, you have a much better chance at being successful on any particular day. Bottom line. All right, that's all I got. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well, stop being stubborn, um, be good. Back tomorrow with another uh, webcast. Sorry it's so long, but you need to listen to every second of this. See ya.